Hey folks, I'm back with a bunch of new desk accessories that I came across online and that I wanted to showcase. These are accessories that I like to try out while working from home to see how useful they can be. So if you're looking for some new tech products to enhance your work from home experience or simply to change things up with your personal desk setup, well, this video is for you. Let's have a look. So first item I have here is a wireless charger from Invisci that is invisible. Well, not exactly, but it mounts under a tabletop and can charge a phone that rests on top of it. Quite impressive, right? It can mount using 3M tape or screws for a more permanent installation, and then you're good to go. It will work through non-metallic surfaces that are between 18 and 30 millimeters thick with up to 10 watts of charging power. That's a very impressive and stealthy accessory, and I think this is something that would also be really cool for a bedside table, where you can just put your phone there and it starts charging automatically, like magic. Next up is a product called the Carpio 2.0, and that's from Delta Hub. It has been a very pleasant surprise. I've never really been a fan of traditional wrist rests. I don't know, I feel like they're not that comfortable, but this is something else. I noticed that a lot of their marketing shows it being used only for the mouse, but I use both of mine at once for a perfectly even typing experience too. These wrist rests were designed with physicians and made to improve the ergonomics of using a mouse by moving the pressure from the wrist to the palms instead. It takes a bit of time to get used to it, but it was super comfortable after just a few hours for me. Its shape perfectly molds to my palms and the section that gets the most of the pressure is softer for added comfort. What I really like about it is that it glides with your hand movements, so I don't have to lift my wrist from the right one when switching between my trackpad and keyboard. And yes, it also works with trackpads. It's not cheap at all, but I really enjoy mines and can definitely recommend them, especially if you suffer from wrist pain while at the computer. Now to what's under these wrist rests, that's another product from Delta Hub, and this time it's their desk pad. This one is not as unique as the previous, but it's a solid desk mat that looks super clean in this charcoal gray color. It's made from synthetic felt material, and it's a very good match with the Carpio 2.0, given that it helps with gliding. The edges are stitched so that it doesn't peel or roll over time, and the bottom layer has rubber dots so that it stays in place. Finally, it comes in multiple sizes, but I like this white version as it doesn't touch my laptop stand. So, as some of you know, I like standing desks. But one of the downsides is that most of them do not have any form of storage. This is where the autonomous filing cabinet comes in handy. While I don't have a lot of files to store, its tree drawer array is quite useful for items that I need sometimes, but that I don't need on my desk all the time either. It only comes in white, but there are four color options for the handles, and these are padded with fabric, nice little detail. I like that it gives a little touch of color without being too much. It's standing on wheels, making it super easy to move around, and finally, the top drawer can be locked with a key. I use it on the side of my desk so that it's not in the way of my legs, and I store items such as microphones, camera accessories, peripherals, and cables in it. Oh, and it also doubles as a pretty solid cat bed. Alright, I got a bunch of other exciting items to showcase, but before going further, let's hear a word from this video sponsor, Datacamp. Datacamp is an online learning platform that makes it easy to build data skills. I love working in tech, and if that's something you'd like to explore as well, you can acquire data skills faster with Datacamp. They offer 350 courses and interactive learning experiences, including an introduction to Python course. Python is one of the most popular programming languages out there, and you'll learn about base types, list manipulations, how to define and use functions, as well as NumPy, a popular math-focused Python library. You can combine video classes with practical exercises, and the lessons are bite-sized to better fit your schedule. Their mobile version also allows you to learn from anywhere. Well, almost. Okay, please don't learn and drive. You can also take a free assessment, which gives you personalized learning recommendations for you to grow your data skills. Invest in yourself. Use my link in the description and check out the first chapter of any course for free. Okay, now back to desk accessories, we have a desk lamp. This little guy here is from Yeelight and I like their products quite a bit. It's not cheap per se, but I find its design super interesting. 
There is a ring of light at the top that lights up with the main downlight, and the light quality is also very good, being rated at a CRI of 95, which means it renders colors accurately. The shade can be angled a bit too, for two kinds of looks and illuminations. At the base, there is a single button here, and clicking it turns on and off the lamp, while holding it down changes the intensity and temperature of the light. This is really neat when I work late at night and want a more relaxed or cozy vibe. Finally, the base also has a wireless charger built in, but that's a feature that is reserved to the Pro version. The wattage isn't specified, but it's still a cool feature even if the charging speed is slow, either to put your phone away while you're working or as a way to charge your phone overnight. This lamp can also be connected to Wi-Fi. It will work with the Yeelight app and with Apple HomeKit as well. I'm not a HomeKit user, but the app does work as expected, and I guess it's pretty cool if you want to power it on and off on a schedule or just control it when it's out of reach. I really like this little lamp and feel like it's a great complement to my monitor lamp, especially at night where I can dim them both with a warm white tone. Now to another lamp, this is a corner lamp by Blitzwolf. I've seen lamps like these more and more in desk setups for the past months, so I thought I would feature one of them. This model looks super clean and minimal, being made of three metal sections, and the base doesn't take a lot of space when placed in a corner. To control it, there's a remote, and that's the only control input it has. No Bluetooth or Wi-Fi controls through an app, and that also means no smart home controls. You can pick between static colors and a set of animations, and then for each color mode, you can pick the brightness and speed of the animation. The bar can display multiple colors at once, but it's only possible with the animations, not with static light configurations. It's a pretty cool product and the result looks nice, but there's a very limited set of colors that can be selected, there's no white option either, and the animations are pre-built, so they cannot be changed. All those issues are fixed alongside app and smart home controls with another corner lamp I reviewed recently, the Lyra from Govi, and I would easily recommend this one over the Blitzwolf. In the end, the Blitzwolf is cheaper, and if your budget is limited, then it's still a viable option, even with the known downsides. And finally, I have an amazing accessory for video calls. If you work from home like I do, a coworker with a bad mic can definitely be annoying. And if you don't want to be that annoying coworker, a cheap and discreet solution is lav mics. They're typically used for professional video applications, but they can definitely work for virtual meetings too. The one I have here is the Boya BYM3. It's affordable and connects directly via USB-C instead of a 3.5mm jack, which is handy. By clipping it to a shirt or a headphones cable, you will get a much better sound than most laptop or webcam microphones. I'll leave you to a sound comparison so that you can hear how it sounds. So this is a sound test with my MacBook's built-in microphone. Given that it's far away from my mouth, it probably picks up a lot of echo. So now this is a sound test with my webcam's built-in microphone. Again, probably a lot of echo. So now this is a sound test with the Boya live mic. And as you can tell, my voice is clearer and there's less echo being picked up by the microphone. And finally, another sound test with the Boya lav mic. This time it is attached to my headphone cable so that it's easier to remove instead of having it on my clothes. As you probably noticed, my room has a lot of echo and because the lav mic is a lot closer to the source of sound we want to capture, its signal to noise ratio is much higher than other microphones I compared it to, resulting in a cleaner sound. It's not perfect, but it is better. So yeah, a cheap but effective solution if you work from home like I do. So that's it for today. I hope you found some of these accessories interesting. Let me know down below which one was your favorite out of the bunch. I'm curious to know what I should focus on in next videos like this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as I'll see you in the next video.